Hey guys, so before we move ahead, I'm just going to quickly show you guys all of the colors that I've chosen for today's video. Now here are some colors with warm undertone and here are some colors with cool undertone as well. So I'm kind of moving around from red color with warm undertone and red color with cool undertone. And also I have kept all of the colors right in the middle when it comes to saturation or desaturation and um, they're not too saturated neither too desaturated i really hope that makes sense so guys here i am using soft airbrush again also i decreased opacity with pressure because that's how i like to use my brush now um, i actually use soft airbrush for everything i don't know why so here i'm just making the basic um sketch for the lips it's pretty simple you guys you just have to um, create just two dots um, and then create this a uh, u structure first and then draw two lines attaching to that i'm like really bad at explaining this basic sketch for the lips so just excuse that just copy whatever i'm doing on the screen if it's difficult for you so that's that and don't do not really worry about the lines being perfect because we are going to be blending those out later on so do not worry about that at all also you can use black color if you want to but i don't like to use black color i use dark um brownish kind of color to create that basic sketch for the lips now here i'm just gonna fill the whole lips with the basic color that i've chosen now what i basically do is i put the color in the center in this circular form as you guys can see then i use colorless brush to spread it out and just to fill the whole lips in with the similar color now i know this looks hella crazy right now but oh, the reason why i do this is because just to make sure that the um, outlines of the lips are not too harsh because that does not look that natural and i like to keep it softer and it should blend in nicely with the skin color that you have or the skin color that you are painting so that's what i did right here and just to make sure it it uh, doesn't look crazy i'm actually going ahead with the similar soft air brush and i'm just going over that unfilled part of the lip lightly really really lightly just to make sure it doesn't look crazy so um now that i am done with that i'm just going back to the layer where we created the basic um, outlines for the lip and i'm using colorless brush and i'm just blending out the uh, lines the outlines for the lips not really the inner part or inner mouth part of this basic sketch but just the outlines for the lips as you guys can see and also make sure you're not blending out everything just keep a little bit of something there Now I'm taking this lighter color from the palette and I'm adding this color where I think the light should be hitting so you have to keep in mind the light source of your painting so that you can do it right. So that's what I'm doing here and again you, you don't really have to be perfect at this point you can just put the color and blend it out later on with the colorless brush so that's what I'm doing right here but Always try that um, you don't really have to use colorless brush that much because it just smoothens out everything and even if you're using just make sure to decrease the opacity of the brush. Now once I'm done with that I'm taking this darker color and adding this color on the left part of the lips again just to create some shadows.
Now just go back onto the layer where we have the basic sketch for the lips and pick up your colorless brush and go over the edges of those outlines that are right in the middle of the lips just to make sure they do not look crazy so what i'm doing here is i'm just going over the edges of those outlines that are in the middle part of the lips now once i'm done with that and once i'm happy with that what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pick up the darker brownish color again and i'm just gonna fill the uh, center of those lines so you have to make sure to decrease the size of the brush so that you don't ruin it you just have to fill that color in right in the very middle of those lines i really hope that makes sense for the skin it's really really simple obviously just you you'll have your base skin color right there so i'm just painting that just to make sure i have that too and i'm picking up the darker version of that skin color and i usually add this color right at the very bottom um right just just underneath the bottom lips also above the cupid's bow as well and a little bit around the um, corner of the mouth so that's how i add this darker skin color so that's actually pretty easy you guys Now the next step is to um, make the shadow part of the lips a bit more darker and if you already if the if your painting is already kind of darker on the shadow part of it then you don't really have to do this you can skip the step but I like to build the color up little by little so that's what I'm doing here and I would suggest you guys to do the same so that's what I'm doing here I'm just going over the shadow part of it and going over those shadows just to add more depth to the lips and I'm using the similar color Now create a new layer right in the middle of the um, painted part of the lips and the basic sketch part of the lips and now we are going to use this layer for highlights now you can keep it either in the middle of those two layers or you can keep it at the very top it's optional you know and now I am choosing a bright white color for highlighting again I'm using soft air brush again so basically what you have to do is you have to play around with the highlights to see what looks the best and I think this part uh, can make or break your whole painting so I really love highlighting part and I really enjoy doing that so what I basically do is I just decrease the size of the brush and I keep the opacity up to the max and I play around with the highlights. I just see what looks the best. So the first part, the first area that I highlight is just under the cupid spell of the lips. And I really like it that way. So there are two ways of highlighting. So the first way is to directly go on with uh, the color you have, the white color or whatever highlighting color you have. And just directly go onto it with full pigmentation with full pressure onto the pen or onto the screen the second way of doing it uh, doing it is to kind of build it up little by little so what you'll do is you'll pick up your soft air brush or whatever brush you're using and you'll put light pressure onto the lips at first just to get a little color out of that brush and then you'll build it up little by little so the first layer or the first stroke of the color would be lighter the second stroke of the color would be um, more pigmented I really hope this is not confusing so um, I'm trying my best to explain you guys so that's how I do it I like to build 
up the colors little by little when it comes to shadows or when it comes to highlights i really like to build it up so it also does depend on to what type of lips do you want to paint do you want to paint them matte or do you want to paint them glossy and i really like painting glossy lips for some reason maybe i enjoy putting those highlights in so that's it basically once you are done with the highlighting part also do highlight around the um, corner of the mouth it actually makes a huge difference you can also highlight um, the cupid's bow as well now you're basically done now wh what i'm gonna do basically you can skip this part but i actually like to go back onto the shadow part of the lips just to make them just to make it more um just to add more depth to that part of the lips because after highlighting i can actually see where i need to add more depth to the lips so that's what i'm doing right here other than that you guys are done with the whole thing i really hope you guys enjoyed it i really hope you guys um found it helpful and not confusing and if you did find it confusing then you can ask me any question you want down in the comment section below and other than that give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it also do subscribe to my channel i post every monday and friday and other than that if you create something out of my tutorials then tag me on instagram and i will link it down in the description as well and i'll see you guys the next time